There are many ways to look at the twists and turns that unfold in one's life. It has been a struggle for me to accept that things happen for a reason. My scientific mind wants to know why things happen. It yearns for a concrete answer. My husband and I will never know why we had had to endure so many miscarriages in the past two years. I have come to the conclusion that the reason we are able to continue our journey is because of love. Love is stronger than fear and sorrow. The love that we have tells us that the pain and suffering will be worth it the moment we finally see the little flicker of a healthy heartbeat on ultrasound day. The clarity and perspective I have on our situation needs to be shared. I remember coming home after my fifth miscarriage was diagnosed. Through the tears, I typed into Google, hope after five miscarriages. No useful information resulted from my search. No blogs, no success stories, no words of encouragement. Nothing. That's why I'm here. Whatever it takes. So in April 2011, I started a blog called Whatever It Takes, and it was basically to uh, just put out my story, kind of uh, a therapy to myself, because I, I felt like I was coherent enough and had a clear head and was able to articulate the story that we had been through and also to to reach out to people that, that have maybe been through something similar or are uh, going through it at that time. It was not until my fifth miscarriage that I started feeling things bother me more and more. Comments that people made, pregnant women, and anything related to babies were all so traumatic. I became dysfunctional, refusing to go out in public in fear that I would be exposed to one of the many sensitive issues I was battling. About a year ago, I decided that it was okay to protect myself. I think we can all agree that having five miscarriages in less than two and a half years is absurd, unfair, etc., etc. I sometimes feel like I should be heavily medicated, shaking in a corner somewhere. Surprisingly, I'm not. Somehow I find ways to cope with the sadness and grief that I feel. I talk about what bothers me, I write about it, and skateboard, because that's the only way I know how to deal with hardship. I have to be honest with myself. All I really needed to know, I learned from struggling with infertility. Number one, don't take anything for granted. Number two, pushing away family and friends during tough times only makes you feel more isolated. Number three, your friends will not think any less of you if you cry in front of them. Number four, a quick answer doesn't heal years of pain. Number five, horrible things happen to good people. Number six, advocate for yourself. Number seven, the internet is not a doctor. Number eight, you cannot rationalize everything that happens in life. Number nine, people say the worst things at the worst times. Number 10, let yourself be human. I have followed my heart in making the decision to press on with our journey. The more thought I gave to the idea of ba abandoning this dream, the more I realized that I couldn't live with myself if I knew there was still a chance things could work out. My choice may be extremely risky and more pain and heartache could be in our future. Our doctor said it best, you can't win the game if you don't play. With a clear mind and a heart full of love, game on. I never thought I would have a blog and divulge details about my personal life to anyone willing to read. I also never thought in a million years I would endure what I have through my journey with infertility. Going through what I have in the last three years has changed me for better and worse. I am more distracted, anxious, and emotionally fragile. On the positive side, I have realized how strong of a woman I am, the magnitude of friendship, and the power of love. I don't have the magical formula that will help others get through what I have and still come out in one piece. I only know what works for me and how I survived this far. Sometimes I think it's the skateboarder in me that knows what it's like to take falls over and over again to reach a goal, to land a new trick. The euphoric high once the goal is achieved is amazing and the pain, suffering, and time spent to get there is all worth it. 
it actually was well received and a lot of people were hitting me up on Facebook saying like you know wow I, I didn't know that and I had a miscarriage or I had two miscarriages or I had four or a really good friend of mine had four at that time and I had no idea so people just don't talk about it it's it's one of those things that I don't know why I guess it's just our society that that uh it's not acceptable or it's uncomfortable for people to talk about so I was just trying to break the silence and get it out there a little bit that women go through this and it's really hard to just get up and go every day and do the same thing every day when you're dealing with this.